What's up guys, today I'll be showing you on how to extract sound files from the Outlast trials. So the first thing you will need to download is a few programs and scripts. Uh, you can find the download links in the description. Uh, once you have done that, we can start. Alright, let's jump into it. So first thing you gotta do is to open the quick BMS 4GB files executable. And it basically will ask you for a BMS script. Uh, you just choose the Outlast Trials script, open it, and then it will ask you for the game files. Uh, to find this, you just go into Steam, right click on the Outlast Trials, Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Then this window will open. Uh, you open OPP, then content, then packs, then you copy that path, and you go back to quick BMS, paste the path, and choose OPP Windows Client. And now the program asks you to select an output folder. Uh, I will simply go to my other hard drive and I will create one just for this video. Uh, let's call it YouTube. I selected one and now the game asks me for a key and this key is basically the AES key. We copy that and paste it into QuickBMS. Then it will extract to or start to extract all the game files. Uh, I'm going to skip this part uh, since this process can take up to one hour and I have the files anyway, so I just don't really need to do that. And yeah. All right, after you have finished the process of exporting the game files. You go into the folder where you, where your extracted files are. In my case, it is trials update because YouTube. I, I just skipped this because yeah, I didn't want to waste my time with this, so I'm just gonna delete that one. And you basically go into your folder, go into OPP, then content, and then down to. WWISE audio. Then Windows, and here you can see all the sound files and audio files, music files. And now, we, what we're gonna do is to convert those WEM files to a format that we can actually play. So, for example, when you use uh, I don't know, the Windows Media Player, you cannot open these files. So we need to, yeah, convert it to something the program can play. So what we need for this is uh, the content of this folder. Um, and we're going into the sound files, the actual voice lines, which are only in those two folders. I'm going to choose the English folder, obviously. And now what we're going to do is go back into the uh, BMS folder. We go into the audio convert folder. We copy all those files and paste them into the sound files. Now we're looking for um, a batch file called run this. You just left click it and now it starts to yeah convert the WEM files to OGG files. And this can take, yeah, I would say like five to six minutes and yeah. Okay, once you um, converted the files, uh, the next thing you you will need to do is 
to um, pack the files to a raw file, for example from 7-zip or WinRAW. And first thing we will just show the OGG files. Then we will mark them all and package them. All right, after you have this yeah, package or archive um, and you want to search for something like, I don't know, uh, Easterman's grades, you will need to open an XML file, which you can also find in this old folder. Um, we will show it, we will show the XML document and the RINRAW archive only. So what you're gonna do is to open the SBOPPVO XML document. And I recommend opening this with a program like Excel or Google Sheets. And when you've opened it, just head to short name five and you will Just search for, let's say, the grades and then Excel shows you only the grades uh, from Easterman and at ID2 you can see the codes that are given to the sound files and all you do is just copy them all. And now what we're gonna do is you go into Notepad++. You will paste them and you will click Control, Control and J. Oh, sorry, Control and F. And you will go to replace, type in the dollar sign and replace it with, uh, yeah, dot OGG in this case. You press replace all. And now what you're gonna do is to mark them all and press control J. Then you copy this, go back to the sound files folder, open the archive. Now this takes obviously some time because there are over 12,000 files in this. But what you're gonna do is you click search. Uh, in my case, it's German, so just look at the symbols. So you go at click on search. You will paste the line you have copied from Notepad. Click OK. And then it will show you all the files related to Easterman grades. You mark them all, you export them to a folder um, sometimes you have to just create a new folder. I will do that. Mm, I will call it oh no, not there. YouTube audio and click OK. Then you go back to your folder and now we're looking for extract files, um, YouTube audio. And now it shows you the sound files. So let's open this for example. An adequate performance. That's how 99% of the world gets by.
It's the mediocrity by which we'll all end up drowning in a bloody sewer. But I'm glad you tried. I am. Oh, this one. You're making progress, but slowly. You need to try harder. You have to shock yourself out of the comforts and lazy assumptions. Accept the therapy. I need you to want to change. All right, that's um, yeah, pretty much the tutorial on how to extract the audio files. Um, what I can of course show to is how to convert those OGD files to MP3 files. Um, I'm using a program called LameXP. And basically all you do is just to, yeah, take the OGG files, paste them here. Um, you choose an output directory and then you just click on encode now. Then it, yeah, takes some time depending on how many files you want to convert to MP3 files. But once you've done that, you have the files and you can literally play them everywhere um yeah and that's pretty much the tutorial i hope you liked it i hoped it wasn't too confusing and if you have any questions just ask in the comment section and yeah that's it thank you very much